Hey, it's Tom from Inspiration Metalworks. And in this week's video, we're going to use the Tormach 440 to make a, uh, a new part for my 3D printer. All right, so we've got this 3D printer that I have been working on for a while. Um, I mean, out of the box, it worked. It was fine. Right? It didn't need anything. But um, one thing that I noticed is that, uh, gosh, just trying to keep the thing leveled, right? Trying to keep the table, I mean, it, as it heated, it would adjust, it would move around. I just trying to, that was the biggest you know, challenge for me. And um, as I was doing some upgrades uh, to the controller and some other things, uh, I realized that there was a really nice um, a, an aluminum bed you could put on it. Uh, there was a, a better hot end we could do. And with all of that, also, uh, you could do automatic tramming. Or technically, it's kind of a, a Z-height compensation, you know, an auto-leveling feature. Um, and so... Uh, to do that though, you got to pull all that stuff off. Uh, pull the you know the hot end off. You pull the you know, basically you know the whole um, the whole Z portion of it, you know, or not the Z, but I guess it'd be the the um, the feeder part, right? All that comes off. And I needed to make a new bracket. Um, you know, initially I tried it with uh, just using reusing the old bracket, and I decided no, I was going to make something that was purpose built. And so I needed something that was going to hold the hot end as well as um, hold the uh, sensor in place. And so I went for just a you know a simple, um, almost like angle, a uh, piece of angle. Although I you know I started with a, a chunk of aluminum and um, made it in one piece, and then I, I cut it to uh, create the clamping mechanism. I didn't get everything on camera. I forgot to um, I forgot to record the. Uh, the tapping as well as actually installing everything. But um, I do have a couple pictures at the end for you. Uh, with that, let's go ahead and um, let's get started.
Thank <laughs> you. 